From the Mac Setup page, click on the hippovnc.zip link to download it. I've already downloaded it. Once it's been unzipped, move it to the Applications folder and double-click it. Next, enter the VNC password and click Done. I entered four ones. Notice that Hippo Remote detected the server, so tap on the name and enter the VNC password. That's it, now we're connected. An optional step that we'd recommend is running Hippo VNC as a system service so that it's always available. To do this, stop the server and go to Preferences. Go to the System Server tab and enter a VNC password. This time I'll enter four twos. Then click Start System Server. A green message will appear. Now you can quit Hippo VNC. Let's go back to Hippo Remote. Hippo Remote has detected the server, so tap on the name and enter the VNC password. Now we're connected. If you're always going to connect to this computer with Hippo Remote, you might want to enable Auto Connect. To do this, tap Settings and turn on Auto Connect. Now, every time you start Hippo Remote, it'll automatically try to connect to this computer.